Welcome to Yesu Mafra Downfall. It's a great and exciting channel. Hello guys, welcome to Yesu Mafra Downfall. I'm Auntie Rajwa and it's always such a great, great joy to be in your homes or wherever you find yourselves. I hope you've been a good daughter or son to mommy and daddy and you're being a good brother or sister to your siblings you know god doesn't want anybody to be like cain who was jealous of his younger brother became angry and eventually killed him no 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 you know something interesting happened today guys can you imagine living in a very huge house with lions and cats and snakes and cockroaches and snails that is our lesson for today it's a very interesting one stay tuned guys we'll be right back after the song Our memory verse for the month of July, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5, Amen. Guys, do you think rules are good? I think so because rules help us to become better people, they shape us and they help us not to cross boundaries. Do you obey rules at school and at home? I hope you do because today we're going to learn how following rules helped Noah and his family and saved a lot of the anim animals, saved a lot of these species on the air. Our Bible story for today is an interesting one. It's titled God Saves Noah and our scripture text is taken from the book of Genesis. We're still in the book of Genesis chapter 6, the entire chapter 6. Let's have our Bible story for today. When God created the world and everything in it, He made man in His own image to live here and take care of the world. However, humans started doing evil things and stopped following His commands. They did not pray to Him and they only cared for their own comfort. God decided to destroy the earth and everybody in it. There was only one man who loved God, Noah. Noah loved and worshipped God. He believed in God even though nobody else did. He also taught his family to love and fear God. One day, God spoke to Noah. Noah, you are a good man. You are righteous and you live a good life with your family. But the world has become evil and all the people in the world deserve to die. Noah was shocked at what he heard but he remained calm. But God, these are your people. Have mercy on them. No, Noah. The world has to be destroyed. I will send a great flood that will destroy the whole of Earth. It will rain without end for 40 days. Every living being on Earth will be destroyed. So be it. Let your will be done. Fear not, Noah. I have come to warn you because you have been a good man. 
You and your family will survive the flood. It is a big wooden boat. You will build this ark to protect your family from the flood. The ark should be big enough for your family. You will also be taking many animals along with you, so that they can survive too. But God, I have no knowledge about building arcs. How will I do this? Do not worry. I will give you all the instructions you need. Just follow them, and you will be able to build it without any problem. Okay, my lord. I will follow your instructions and do as you say. You must also talk to the people around you and try to convince them to mend their ways. Tell them to turn to me, pray to me, and fear me. Tell them to be kind and do good things. Tell them to stop being selfish and live a good life. I will do as you say, my lord. And as God instructed, Noah started to cut down trees. He made big planks out of the wood to build his ark. People started noticing what Noah was doing. They gathered around him as he shaped his planks and piled them up. They were curious. Noah, what are you doing? Hello, friend. I am building an ark. What is an ark? It is a big boat, my friend. It will protect me and my family from the flood. What flood? My dear friend, God, our Creator, spoke to me. He said that He is angry with the people, and He is going to destroy all living beings with a flood. My dear Noah, we don't understand. Where is this flood coming from? God will send heavy rains. It will rain non-stop for 40 days, and a flood will come and wipe out everything. You can stop this. God is angry with your ways. You only have to turn to Him and mend your ways. Pray to Him. Ask Him for forgiveness, and you will be saved. You can come with me on my ark. You will be saved from the flood. Noah, have you gone mad? You do not make any sense. Why are you doing all this? Stop building this nonsense ark and look after your family. Sorry, my friend. This is my work. God has asked me to do this. I have to obey Him. I will build this ark as He has told me. The villagers laughed loudly and returned to their home. Now, Noah had gathered all the food grains, the seeds, and the animals. He stored the food grains in the ark. God then made the animals arrive in pairs. Every animal and bird on the earth waited in line patiently to enter the ark. There were lions, tigers, elephants, snakes, parrots, zebras, everyone. Two by two, they entered the ark. Then Noah called to the villagers and once again invited them to enter his ark. The people still refused to believe in him. They could not understand why he was collecting animals and placing them in the ark. They continued to sin against God and they refused to enter. You said it would rain for 40 days, Noah. I don't even see a drip of rain anywhere. Do you still think that you're making any sense? Do you really think that this God is going to save you? You have been making a fool of yourself and trying to make us all fools as well. I believe in my Lord. He will never abandon me. He has always guided me to do what is right. I am still inviting you to join me in the ark. You will be saved. We are not coming into your stupid ark. You can do as you please. Just leave us alone now. Once Noah had completed filling up his ark with the animals, God told Noah to assemble his family and bring them into the ark. Once they had entered the ark, the door was closed and the ark was sealed shut. As soon as the ark was sealed, the first drops of rain began to fall on earth. The villagers were amazed as there had not been any rains for a very long time. Soon it was raining heavily and big thunderclouds gathered all around the village. It continued to rain for days and soon the water was flooding the village. The ark then began to float over the water. People in the village were running for shelter as their homes had been swept away by the flood. 
Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and the animals he had brought with him were safe and warm in the ark. It rained heavily for 40 days, and in the end there was nothing but water all around. All living beings were drowned, and even the highest mountains were covered by the flood. Noah looked out of the window of his ark and could see nothing but water all around. After 40 days and 40 nights of rain, it stopped raining. The water level slowly started coming down. The ark continued to sail with Noah's family and the animals. They kept sailing in search of dry land. After many days, Noah sent a dove out in search of dry land. The dove returned as it could not find any place to make a nest. The water still covered every patch of dry land. Noah waited for one week and then sent the dove out again. This time, the dove returned with an olive branch. This meant that the water levels had come down. Noah waited for one more week, and this time, when he sent the dove out, it did not return. This was a sign that the water had come down and there was dry land. Soon, the ark came to a stop on top of a dry mountain. Then God spoke to Noah. Noah, it is now safe for you and your family to leave the ark. You can step out to the land. You can now lead a new life with your family. Release all the animals. Let them once again roam the earth. Thank you, my Lord. I am thankful for your love and faith in me. You have kept me safe through all this. My family is alive and well because of you. We owe our lives to you. You are a righteous man, Noah. Your faith in me has saved you. Your family has been saved because of your good deeds. I promise that I will never again send the floods. As a reminder of this promise, God created a beautiful rainbow. Noah and his family lived for a long time on earth. They had many children, and soon Noah's children and grandchildren were spread all over the world. Lessons from our Bible story. In our previous lesson, Cain and Abel, we learned that Abel, through faith, offered his best lamb as a sacrifice to God, whilst his older brother Cain did not. Cain became jealous because God did not accept or respect his sacrifice, but he did his brothers and ended up killing his brother, and God punished him. Guys, you and I have a huge responsibility to care for our siblings, whether younger or older, and to be good sons and daughters to our mommies and our daddies, and he will bless us. In today's story, God saves Noah. We learn that man became very wicked to the extent that God regretted he had made man. But guys, amidst all this wickedness, God found a man who was righteous, Noah. Even though in the end times there is wickedness all around us, people can still live holy for God. If all your friends or classmates are doing bad things, it doesn't mean you should do same or follow them. You can decide to be different and do good. Set a good example like Noah did and found favor with God. Because Noah was right with God, God saved him and his family. His family also got to enjoy the blessing. When we live right for God, he blesses us and our family also gets to enjoy these blessings. Guys, you know, to save Noah, God gave him a set of instructions because he was going to destroy the earth with water. Oh my goodness, the entire earth was going to be drowned in water along with the trees and animals, the mountains and all humans with the exception of Noah and his family and male and female of all animal species including dogs, cats, bear, lion, crab, snail, giraffe, elephant, even the hippo. They were all going to be saved. Noah was obedient guys with the help of his family, that is his wife, 
his three sons and their wives. They built a huge ark that is a big boat with cypress wood and waterproof it with tar so that water could not enter it. And Noah obeyed all of God's instructions. Can you imagine the world without laws? Can you imagine the world without laws or rules or instructions? It means that the, the sea can even cross its boundaries and drown the earth. So laws and rules are good. God gives us instructions through our daddies and mummies at home and through our teachers at school and at church to save us and to help us to become better people. I'm sure people were laughing at Noah and his family for building the ark. Yet, it didn't stop them, guys. They just wanted to obey God. Sometimes, in obeying rules at school or at home, our friends and siblings may laugh at us or even tease us. It should never ever stop us from obeying rules, which will always save us like it did Noah and his family. Guys, we are in the end times. God is preparing his church, his bride, for his coming. That is you and I and all good Christians. Now, the only way for the people to have been saved was to enter the ark. But it was already too late. I'm sure Noah told them about it, but they didn't believe and only laughed at him. In our time, the only way to be saved is through God's ark, that is Jesus. So accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. That isn't all. You need to live for him only after that. Guys, the same way God destroyed the earth with water, he is one day going to destroy this earth that you and I live in and bring the beautiful, magnificent new Jerusalem from heaven where we'll live with him forever and ever. So we need to tell as many people as possible about Jesus to save them from the eternal destruction. Even if they laugh at us, we need to still tell them. Finally, guys, when Noah and his family came out of the ark alive, they built an altar to the Lord. That is a sacrifice to appreciate God for saving them because they could have died like the others, but God favored them. So we need to appreciate God for his goodness, for his favor, for his grace, for his mercies, for his love towards us that each day we wake up and we are alive and we are healthy. We need to appreciate him every day with our sacrifice of praise, with our sacrifice of thanksgiving, with our sacrifice of worship, with our sacrifice of our substance, our monies, and even in our obedience to him. And when Noah made the altar, he made the sacrifice to God. God respected and honored his sacrifice with a rainbow. So the next time you see a beautiful rainbow in the sky, it is a reminder of God's promise to us never and ever to destroy the earth again with water. Hallelujah. Guys, have you spoken to Jesus today? Remember that Jesus lives in your heart. He's here and he's at all places at the same time. I would love to hear from you. But you know what? In those times, they had Noah's Ark. Now we don't have a Noah's Ark, but you need to be part of God's Ark because if you are not part of God's Ark, you will not enter into the New Jerusalem. You will not enter into heaven. So guys, if you're here, you're watching me and you know that you have not accepted Jesus into your heart, it means you cannot be part of God's Ark. You cannot be part of God's bigger plan in eternity. So today, I would love to pray with you so that you accept Jesus into your heart and you can become part of God's up. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your word this morning. We even thank you for the opportunity to be alive. And we thank you that you are always interested in saving mankind, even little children. Father, this morning we present our hearts before you. We invite you into our hearts. We recognize that we are sinners and ask that Lord cleanse us from all unrighteousness, cleanse us from all our sins and make us whole. Come and live in our hearts. Today, we declare that Jesus is Lord over our lives. We accept you as our Lord and personal Savior. Come and live in our hearts. 
come and dwell with our heart. And this morning we confess that Jesus is Lord. We give you all the glory. We thank you that you've heard us. Even as we go throughout this week, please be with us. Please keep us. Please preserve us. We come against every plot of the enemy, against all children, every form of kidnapping. We come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Mark every child by the blood of Jesus. Preserve every child in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not hear of any bad news concerning any child in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. was so very sad people became so bad he decided he would start over there was a faithful man and he could lend a hand this faithful man was known as Noah Noah was told by God that there would be a flood to clear the world from all its evil Noah must build an ark through daylight and through dark before the rain starts to fall in up came the animals marching two by two Down came the rain and flooded the world right through Up came the sunshine and that's when no one knew God saved them all from the flood Animals of every kind, to each is what you find Made their way on board The rain then came to sight for forty days and nights And all on board were saved Came the animals marching two by two Down came the rain and flooded the world right through Up came the sunshine and that's when no one knew God saved them all from the flood Then sunshine finally came Just like God had arranged And the rain finally ended Water began to dry A rainbow in the sky Welcomed them all back to land Came the animals marching two by two Down came the rain and flooded the world right through Up came the sunshine and that's when no one knew God saved them all from the flood Up came the animals marching two by two Down came the rain and flooded the world right through Up came the sunshine and that's when no one knew God saved them all from the flood from the flood guys i know that following your rules is hard sometimes you know when mommy tells you don't go there don't do that don't do that sometimes it can be pretty much hard but remember rules are good for us and it's supposed to save us from being bad so that we can enter into the beautiful place that Jesus is preparing for us the beautiful and the magnificent the new Jerusalem where we follow these rules that God has given us that mommy and daddy gives us that our teachers give us we will not become bad children we'll be part of God's bigger ark and we'll be part of the new Jerusalem guys remember also that the last Saturday of July is drawing closer and closer we are all going to plant a seed or a seedling on the same day so get your planting apparatus ready guys i hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you learned something new god bless you so much for tuning in today and i'll see you next time bye, -bye. connect with us on instagram facebook and youtube don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Yes, my friend down.